friends, I haven't read to you a story off of Epic in a while, so I thought I would. Don't forget about Epic. It's an awesome website where you can read tons and tons and tons of different books. All right, today's story is called In Arctic Waters. So we're still talking about animals and different things that live in the Arctic, the North Pole. Okay, In Arctic Waters. Here we go. This is the ice that floats in the Arctic waters. This is the fish, small and quick, that circles the ice that floats in the Arctic waters. Now, don't forget this fish, you might notice he's gray. He's not colorful. Fish that are colorful like to live in warm waters. Okay, let's keep going. This is the beluga, blubbery thick, that chases the fish, small and quick, that circles the ice that floats in the Arctic water. This is a beluga whale. Blubbery means um, like when animals that live in the cold weather have a lot of this fat on them. It's called blubber. It's what keeps them warm and cozy in all that cold weather. All right, here we go. This is the narwhal, big and strong, that swims with the beluga, blubbery thick, that chases the fish, small and quick, that circles the ice that floats in the Arctic waters. Remember, all the animals you're gonna see in the Arctic are all gonna have the same kind of colors. Gray, um, brown, if you're up, up on the land, you're probably white, like a Arctic fox or a polar bear. Here we go. This is the seal bouncing along that teases the narwhal, big and strong, that swims with the beluga, blubbery thick, that chases the fish, small and quick, that circles the ice that floats in the Arctic water. I'll slide that down so you can see the fish in this picture. Cool. This is the walrus ready to play that splashes the seal, bouncing along, that teases the narwhal, big and strong, that swims with the beluga, blubbery thick, that chases the fish, small and quick, that circles the ice that floats in the Arctic waters. This is the polar bear, furry white, that swats at the walrus, ready to fight, that splashes the seal, bouncing along, that teases the narwhal, big and strong, that swims with the beluga, blubbery thick, that chases the fish, small and quick, that circles the ice that floats in the Arctic water. This is the man that hunts the animals that live on the ice that floats in the Arctic water. So this man, he wants to hunt all of these animals. These animals look a little bit frightened. Crunch, creak, crack. Ooh, look at this. The ice, this iceberg is breaking apart. Oh my goodness. The polar bear stopped. The walrus hopped. The seal scurried. The narwhal hurried. The beluga splashed. The fish dashed. Toward a new piece of ice that floats in the Arctic waters. Off they go. They are safe and sound, and that man's going to have to go somewhere else. Awesome job, friends. That is the end. If you want to read this book and you want to read more about each of these animals, like the walrus, the narwhal, the beluga, the seals, any of those things, then just hop on Epic and you can read it with your parents, okay? There's also some pictures here at the end if you wanted to print out and do some coloring. Okay, awesome job, you guys. I'm gonna click right here where it says finish book. Ooh, and every time you finish a book on, on Epic, you get some points. I got 178 points and we read for five minutes. Woohoo! Awesome job, friends. I'm glad you liked that Arctic water story. I hope you liked that Arctic water story. I'll see you guys next week and we'll do some more learning about the winter season. All right, friends, awesome job on penguins, Arctic animals, Antarctic animals, polar bears, and everything we learned this week. All right, friends, see you later.